Okay, this is going to be a brief uh, overview of how to change the belt on a TS-1000. Um, so let's get started here. Um, the first thing you need to do is remove the belt guard. You have two doozy fasteners, one here, one down here. You need to, they're quarter turn, you just turn them, they'll pop back. Okay, then you will lift up the guard and slide it out the rear of the machine past the motor. Which exposes the air compressor belt and the pump belt. You have to remove the air compressor belt first to, to remove the, uh, the gear belt for the uh, the hydraulic pump. So to do that, you just push down on that, or you can use a wrench. Slide the belt off out of the groove. And remove the belt. Okay, next, you would come around to the rear of the machine and loosen the four bolts that hold the hydraulic pump. We take this. We're going to take the rest of the shroud off first. Well, you can. To, you to, well, to get better access back here, I'll show you what I mean. After you've loosened the four bolts, push the pump or slide the head of pump a little bit to loosen up the gear belt and then lift off the belt and over the front pulley and now you can reinstall the second one here. Now we have a new belt, we're putting it on, slip it over the, the gear pump or the end of the motor then over the driven pulley on the hydraulic pump and then grasp the pump and pull it straight back. Now you want to make sure that the alignment on the belt is straight. So then we'll go from here. You want to so this groove here you want to be the, you want to be even. You want it, don't want it to be tight at the bottom and loose at the top. So if you have to turn it a little bit, go like this. Right now? Yep, looks good. So now you would have your partner, if you're working with somebody, tighten up the back two nuts.
Good old cat. Okay, so you tighten the other the other bolts down, and then assemble the uh, put the guard back on, and uh, or after that you have to put the air compressor belt back on. <coughs> that by down, slide the belt over the top of the idler, around the large one on the other side, and then you just take it slide this right on over the top. How come it's not going as easy as I thought it would? <laughs> Actually go around and pull you on the motor. Huh? Go around and pull you on the motor first. There we go. Oh, now she's come off to me. We're off on the bottom, that's me. Yeah. Yeah, no. No. <coughs> and you just push the idler down, slide the belt over the top, just like that. See how that was done? Got that? Okay. Now you would put the guards back on in reverse fashion. And uh, that is it. Now you can do the belt change without taking off the rear guard. It takes a, it's a little more work loosening and tightening the belts on the pump, but it can be done without uh, removing that rear guard. You have to remove the top guard to get the job accomplished. So after you have replaced the belts, before you put the top guard back on, start to pump and make sure that the belts are on their, in their perspective spots and the, this belt stays lined up. If not, you'll have to readjust the hydraulic pump to make sure the alignment is great. But otherwise, it, just start it, make sure everything is working good, shut it off, put the guard back on, you're all done.